Lenten Devotion for Friday, March 29. A reading from Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them, that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robes of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations. For Reflection We began this week of Reflections with Isaiah's hymn of joy and triumph. We end the week with more uplifting words from Isaiah. They are such promising words, such hopeful words. We hear them echoed in Luke 4, 18 and 19, when Jesus returns from 40 days in the wilderness, goes to the synagogue on the Sabbath, and opens the book of Isaiah to read the opening lines of this passage, declaring to those present that he is the fulfillment of that promise. What audacity! The people in the synagogue rise up to throw him out of the city. This good news is too much to take. It upsets their whole worldview. As I typed this passage from Isaiah, I heard these words of comfort to those who mourn, as if I were a Palestinian in Gaza today, yearning for a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness, the mantle of praise, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, they shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. When, O oh God, will all the death and destruction in this holy land end? When will new buildings rise in place of current devastation? When will righteousness and praise spring forth before all nations. Let us pray. O oh God, guide us in ways to bring peace among the warring people of Israel and Palestine, to bring comfort to all who mourn, to bring reconciliation among those who share the land, so that a garden shall spring up around them. May it be so. Amen.